Did you know Paul Williams was the lead singer for The Temptations before David Ruffin? Paul Williams played a pivotal role yet often overlooked, he is the unsung hero of The Temptations. He, along with Eddie Kendricks, served as the group's original lead singers. However, as The Temptations rose to international prominence and solidified their status as soul icons with the release of My Girl in 1964, it was David Ruffin's voice that garnered significant attention and recognition. Despite this, Paul Williams' contributions were substantial and foundational to the group's success but his personal life was marked by tragedy. So, if you're a Paul Williams fan or simply curious about this legend, hit the like button and let's dive in. How was Paul Williams' early life like? Born on July 2, 1939, in Birmingham, Alabama. Paul Williams developed an early and unwavering passion for music, nurturing a strong desire to pursue singing as his life's calling. He was born to Sophia and Rufus Williams, the latter being a gospel singer who was part of the Ensley Jubilee Singers, a gospel vocal group. During his formative years, he formed a lasting connection with Eddie Kendricks, as the two boys crossed paths during their time in elementary school. Their shared love for music laid the foundation for a deep bond between them. How Paul Williams joined into music During their teenage years, Paul Williams, Eddie Kendricks, Kel Osborne, and Willie Waller united their musical talents in a secular singing ensemble called the Cavaliers. Driven by aspirations of achieving musical stardom, they aimed to make their mark in the music industry. In 1957, Williams, Kendricks, and Osborne took a significant step by leaving Birmingham to pursue their musical ambitions, while Waller remained behind. Under the new name The Primes, the trio, Williams, Kendricks, and Osborne, relocated to Cleveland, Ohio, and embarked on their quest for success. As fate would have it, they soon crossed paths with manager Milton Jenkins, a crucial figure in their journey. Jenkins guided the Primes to Detroit, Michigan, a pivotal move that marked a turning point for the group. Despite never recording any music during their time as the Primes, they found success through their live performances. The creation of a female spin-off group known as the Primettes, which would later evolve into the iconic group The Supremes. How the Temptations came along In 1961, Kel Osborne's relocation to California marked a significant turning point for the Primes, leading to their dissolution. While Eddie Kendricks initially returned to Alabama, he soon traveled to Detroit to reunite with his former group member Paul Williams. During this visit, the two musicians received pivotal news, Otis Williams, a prominent figure leading a competing Detroit act called The Distance, had openings for two positions in his group. Seizing this opportunity, Paul Williams and Kendricks made the decision to join forces with Otis Williams, along with Melvin Franklin and Elbridge Bryant, to form a new musical ensemble. Originally named the Elgins, the group underwent a name change to become the Temptations. This transition was swiftly followed by a significant milestone as they signed with the local Motown label in 1961. This marked the beginning of the Temptations' journey within the music industry, propelling them toward the iconic status they would ultimately attain. Considered the Temptations' best dancer, Williams served as the group's original choreographer, devising routines for his group and the Supremes. Which songs Paul Williams was the lead singer for the Temptations? Paul Williams played a crucial role as the main lead singer for the Temptations during their early years. He lent his distinctive voice to numerous songs, leaving an indelible mark on the group's sound. Some of the songs for which Paul Williams was the lead singer or shared lead vocals with Eddie Kendricks include 1. Your Wonderful Love, 1961 2. Slow Down Heart, 1962 3. I Want a Love I Can See, 1963 4. Oh, Mother of Mine, 1961, the group's first single 5. Farewell My Love, 1963, shared with Eddie Kendricks. Paul Williams' emotive and soulful vocals were integral to shaping the early identity of the Temptations and their signature sound. Eventually, David Ruffin became the primary lead vocalist. Despite this shift, Paul Williams' contributions and his emotional singing style left an indelible mark on the Temptations' early sound. Was Paul Williams often overlooked? When David Ruffin joined the group to replace L. Bryant in 1964, Paul Williams' role shifted within the lineup. While he had previously served as the main lead singer during the group's formative years, with Ruffin and Kendricks taking the spotlight, Paul Williams often found himself in a supporting role. 
Ruffin and Kendricks garnered much deserved acclaim for their performances, particularly on many of the classics that defined the group's vintage years. During this phase, Paul Williams often took on lead roles for album tracks or B-sides. These performances, while not always in the limelight, showcased his exceptional vocal talents and his dedication to the group's musical success. Beyond his vocal contributions, Williams played a significant part in the group's visual appeal, as he was instrumental in choreographing the sleek dance moves that became a hallmark of The Temptations' performances. Who was Paul Williams married to? Paul Williams' legacy extends through his family, including his wife Mary Agnes Williams, who outlived the iconic soul singer. Paul and Mary Agnes Williams had several children together, Sarita, Kenneth, Paula, Mary, and Paul Jr. These family members carry forward his memory and influence. Paul Williams Jr., one of their children, would later take on a musical path of his own. He became a member of the Temptations Review featuring Dennis Edwards, a group that paid homage to the original Temptations lineup. Notably, Dennis Edwards was a member of the Temptations from 1968 to 1977. Paul Williams had three more children with different girlfriends. These children are Paul Williams Lucas, Anthony Johnson, and Derek Vineyard. Which horrible disease was Paul suffering from? What was hidden from public view was that Williams suffered from sickle cell anemia. Amidst the group's demanding schedule of touring and recording, he turned to alcohol as a coping mechanism. Additionally, during the late 1960s, he encountered significant financial hardships. Despite the outward success of The Temptations and their string of classic singles, Paul Williams grappled with personal challenges. By 1971, Paul Williams' health had become a pressing concern. His unreliability, partly attributed to his health issues, began to affect his contributions. Ultimately, a medical diagnosis revealed a spot on his liver, compelling him to heed medical advice and step away from The Temptations. This decision, though difficult, was driven by the need to prioritize his health. However, his departure from the group he had co-founded exacerbated his struggles, adding to the complexities he faced during this period. Did Paul have a messy affair while still married? In 1965, Paul Williams started an affair with Winnie Brown. Brown, who worked as a hairstylist for the Supremes and was a relative of Supremes member Florence Ballard. While deeply in love with Brown, Paul remained committed to his wife and children, leading to emotional turmoil within him. Adding to his emotional challenges, the evolving dynamics within The Temptations began to affect Paul Williams. The presence of Charlie Atkins, the group's choreographer, had transformed his former role, leaving him partially obsolete. This shift contributed to his growing sense of melancholy. Additionally, life on the road started to exact its toll on him, prompting him to turn to alcohol as a coping mechanism, particularly indulging in heavy consumption of Courvoisier. In the spring of 1969, Paul Williams and Winnie Brown embarked on a new venture, opening a celebrity fashion boutique in downtown Detroit. Unfortunately, the business did not achieve the anticipated success, leading to financial strain. The mounting challenges took a toll on Williams' health, resulting in periods of exhaustion and pain that rendered him unable to perform at times. His response was to rely heavily on alcohol to cope, a decision that further exacerbated his declining well-being. What happened to Paul Williams? Throughout this tumultuous period, his fellow temptations made concerted efforts to support him. They intervened by helping manage his alcohol consumption, maintaining oxygen tanks backstage, and offering personal support. Despite their best efforts, Paul Williams' health continued to deteriorate, and he remained resistant to seeking medical attention. Eventually, it was determined that his departure from the group was the best course of action for both his well-being and the continuity of the Temptations' performances. Richard Street officially replaced Paul Williams as his permanent successor, taking on the lead singer role within the group. Despite leaving the Temptations, Paul Williams received unwavering support from his former bandmates. The group continued to pay him his fair share of the earnings, reflecting their commitment to his well-being. He remained part of the team, serving as an advisor, choreographer, and contributor to their routines and dance moves. This arrangement persisted for the next two years. By early 1973, Paul Williams embarked on a new phase of his career. He returned to Motown's Hitsville USA recording studios, focusing on creating solo material. How did Paul die? 
Tragically, Paul Williams' life came to a devastating end on August 17, 1973. He was discovered deceased in a car parked in an alley. This occurrence followed an argument with his then-girlfriend, shortly after he had departed from her new residence. He was only 34 years old at the time. Near his body, a gun was found, hinting at the possibility of suicide. The coroner's official ruling indeed classified his death as suicide. The circumstances surrounding his death led the Williams family to harbor suspicions about the true nature of his passing. Three elements from the coroner's report fueled these suspicions. 1. The gunshot wound was on the left side of his head, even though Paul Williams was right-handed. 2. An alcohol bottle was found near his left side, suggesting it was dropped as if he were shot. 3. The gun used had fired two shots, with only one causing his death. These factors led to speculation of potential foul play, prompting doubts about the official cause of death. Paul Williams' passing remains a sorrowful and contentious event, leaving behind unanswered questions and a complex legacy. His son was jailed for 20 years for killing a family member. His legacy. As a member of The Temptations, Paul Williams was posthumously inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1989 and the Vocal Group Hall of Fame in 1999 and the Rhythm and Blues Music Hall of Fame in 2013. Paul Williams' contribution is often overlooked but he remains unsung hero of The Temptations.